Hi, we are back again showing you some different wood that we have in our stores this spring. And this is a photo holder. This is new to our stores this year and it comes with the raw unfinished wood and then a little piece of wire with a coil at the top that you can put a picture on. I just wanted to show these cute little things and how you can paint the base with your chalky paint. You can put your best favorite beach picture on here. And then the wire spray that had the seashells on it, I'm using more of these pieces from it that I took back. We used that previously in our previous segment. And I'm just actually going to wrap some of this wire around. And now I have little seashells on my cute picture. So that's just another fun way to decorate this little photo form. Okay, I'm gonna roll right into my next project and show you a really cute palette. So this palette right here comes again with the unfinished wood. That's the back of my piece, but that's how it looks in the beginning. And then I'm gonna show you how we finished this one. We actually took the paints that we used earlier, which are ultra blue ceram coat paint and turquoise. And I started off by painting this one blue strip with the ultra blue. As I was painting it and finished this one, put a little bit on the sides, I cleaned my brush out and then took the turquoise, did the next one, and then I took that same dirty brush with the turquoise on it and had a little bit of the blue and then continued. So this isn't a real turquoise color. It has a little bit of that ultra blue in it too, but I like the way that it mixes on there. So now that this is dry, I'm going to take Tim Holtz Distress Ink. This color is actually called tea dye. And this is a technique I use a lot to distress the wood. And you can see as I'm putting it on the wood, you can see the different wood grain in there. This is just a really great way to distress wood and easy. You don't have to worry about putting your paintbrush on the edges and being really delicate and careful. This actually really gets in there good around all the edges and picks up that wood grain really nicely. So I love the way that looks right now. All right, next we use our favorite glue E6000. E6000 to glue the starfish on. So I did that. Then I've got these really cute clothes pens that are also natural wood, but I wanna give them a little bit different look. Again, take a stamp pad. When the stamp pad is raised, it's really easy. You just push the clothes pen across and you get a really nice little finish on there. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's nice to just have that extra little color. So I just distress it like that. Then I will take my E6000 and just add a little bit of glue to the unpainted side. Then you can add your starfish too. And then you can put your favorite pictures or a little saying, and it makes a really cute beachy kind of treat for your home decor. You could also use this favorite spray that I keep using. <laughs> Take more off, maybe wrap it around too to embellish it further. So this spray is really great and used for a lot of the projects that we're doing. Ta-da!